Hello, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hi, Geminis. This is going to be your February 2018 reading. I have a couple of announcements. First, um, we are going into Pisces season. So Pisces, your readings are now on sale. Please click on the box below to get all of my information if you want to book a personal reading. Um, if you want an emergency reading, which is booked within 24 to 48 hours, that's $150. And again, all of my information is below. If you want to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, it would be under Saltwater Heels Tarot. This is a reminder that I swear in all of my readings. And if swearing does offend you, please click the fuck off now. Thank you. All right. So this is going to be for the sign of Gemini for February 2018. Sun, moon or rising. Also remember now, just because it's for February does not mean that it's only for February. I mean, fuck, you take it as it resonates, right? If the shit is relevant for March, it's relevant for March. For some people, this energy has already happened. Does not necessarily mean it's only for February. And because it's general, the energies could be flipped. So if you are the Gemini and you go, no, I'm not going through this, the other person is. Well, then you flip it. It's just, it's general. So it looks like a lot of you Geminis have been doing some inner work. I can feel it. And the first card you have is the Eight of Pentacles. Mastering something, working on something, manifesting things, focusing on coins. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's just get the rest of the cards out here. Let's see what wants to come out. Did that flip? I guess not. All right, Geminis, you guys know that the solar eclipse just happened on the 15th a few days ago. That was a new moon. So we are going to be manifesting new beginnings, going into this new, um, this new phase. A lot of people are closing out cycles. And it's going to be a very interesting time period for a lot of you guys. Lots of new beginnings and unexpected changes. You know, I keep telling my clients, expect the unexpected to happen for the month of February on. You know, a lot of people are coming back from the past. A lot of people are meeting new people, new job opportunities, you know. Pending, though, you guys do the work. You have to do the work, meaning learn your karmic lessons, pay off any karmic debt, why do your cards not want to come out, Gemini? Maybe I shouldn't be doing your reading right now. Huh. There we go. Queen of Cups. Someone's in love. Either you're in love, Gemini, or someone's in love with you. Could be in love with an Aquarius. It's right underneath the Aquarius card. Interesting. Just because it's a queen it can go for a man, too. Remember that now. It doesn't matter. All right, here we go. So like I was saying, it looks like you guys have been really working on yourselves. Inner work too, for sure. Wow, look at that. We have the king and the queen of pentacles. You know, this could be earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But honestly, the king and the queen of pentacles is the most balanced, stable energy in the whole tarot deck. It's what we all want to be regardless of what sign we are because they're the most balanced. They're focused on their coins. Um, this is a vibrational match when you have a king and a queen like this. Okay, so you are definitely a vibrational match to someone. Um, you guys are both focused on coins. You guys are both doing inner work, working on yourselves. Healing has occurred, tremendous amounts of healing with the star card. Not only that, it's about, you know, hope and belief with the star card. And the star card is also about things being meant to be, what's written in the stars, okay? Um, this is also about wish list a lot of people's wish lists are coming true it's crazy it's i told you guys it's going to be a time period of expect the unexpected for real when things start happening it's going to start happening very quickly too so here you have the strength card for some of you guys could be dealing with a leo sun moon or rising but the strength card is all about having the strength and being brave and for some of you guys you have had to have tremendous strength and courage to move on from something. Some of you guys are getting over heartbreak or a third party situation, three of swords here. 
It's betrayal also, but you guys are moving away from that energy here with the Six of Swords. They like to say this is like moving on to calmer waters, you know, and a lot of you guys, I feel like this is in your head that this is past energy from the past. So it's probably like a relationship that you've had a while ago that maybe for you or the other person, they were still kind of hanging on to it, it was still lingering. Yeah, see, Five of Swords. This is like mind games. This is about mind fucking, manipulation, and narcissistic behavior, lying, things of that sort. You guys had to let this go. Somebody did. You or them, take it as it resonates. It had to be let go of. This is the past energy right here. Moving on to calmer waters, releasing things that no longer serve you, letting it go, healing, right? Now, we also have here the Knight of Swords, which could be communication coming in. And if it's communication, it's very short blunt to the point communication when we're talking about energy it can be very fast aggressive moving energy okay i feel like you guys are going to see it is communication there's going to be definite communication eight of swords is communication back and forth um someone's coming in or you're going towards them this is something that's from the past i can feel it could be a virgo sun moon or rising Ver but this is what I was talking about earlier with the Hermit card, going within, doing inner work. Very symbolic here. You guys have really done a ton of work. It's amazing. Now, speaking about love, endings and new beginnings could be with a Scorpio. This is transformation also, but speaking about love, I feel like you guys have had to let go of some things. Free yourself is the word I want to use here, okay? And then it opens you up to this other connection. For some of you guys, you guys have been re you guys have been keeping your eye on someone for a while. You've been in your feels. You've been in love. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is communication of action. It is also like the spark to something new also. There's this connection here with you and a person that it's going to start popping off again. You see what I'm saying? It's like there was a, a delay or there was some type of like hanged man type of energy. Here we have temperance. This is Sagittarius. But this is also about, you know, balance too. It's also about divine timing with that card, I feel. It's about waiting for the right time. It's, it's finally time. This connection is going to be coming back into your life is what I feel. But I feel like it was necessary for there to be a break because the healing had to happen and there needed to be shit from the past that needed to be let go of. You know, whatever happens here, it is going to be victorious for sure. It will be victorious because you have here the Six of Wands and the Six of Wands is victory and success. It's going to be victory and success with this person that, you know, you're going to reconnect with. And I want to use the word reconnect because that's what I feel. Now, for some of you, sure, it could be a whole new person. But I don't know. I just feel like for some people, this is something that you've had your eye on this person for a while or vice versa. And the connection didn't go quite as planned. It didn't really go anywhere. Um, yeah, see, look, the cycle had to close. You have here the 10, excuse me, the 10 of swords, which is about completion. This is the end of this feeling of betrayal, the ending of this feeling of low vibrational uh, feelings, sadness, depression. It's complete. The cycle is complete with the world card. It's done. That energy is done. Now it's freeing you up to something new. With the world card, it can also be this person could be far, right? It could be long distance. It can also symbolize emotional long distance. We're so close, but so fucking far. It can be traveling. It's coming up for some people, but it is most importantly about ending this huge life cycle and starting a whole new one. Four of Cups. See, in the past, you and this particular person that I feel like is coming back, that you're going to reconnect with, one of you wasn't as open to the idea of the connection. And I think it's because of all of this shit that's happened that needed to be let go of is what I feel. And I feel like it's going to come full circle now. It's like you're going to come back to the same person now that the healing is done. Now that you guys are a vibrational match, king and the queen of pentacles. Okay, four of cups. Somebody was not satisfied before with it. And that's how come it never got kind of off the ground it's like you have a second chance with this particular person i'm sorry they're telling me to stop and flip see it's a reunion three of cups it's reuniting with somebody it's it's a connection that you thought was done and it's like you're getting a second chance at this i could feel it for sure 
yep, look at that. New beginnings. I told you for sure. There's a, there's a second chance that's going to be starting here. Four of Wands is 11-11. Ones are about new beginnings. Four is about stability. This time around, you guys will actually be able to start something very solid with each other. It's going to be like a whole new clean slate with you guys and this person. I can feel it. And this is beautiful. This is this reading. I think I'm going to title Second Chances. How beautiful is this, Gemini's? You guys have really been putting in the work, it looks like. Your partner, the other person, looks like they've been putting in the work. And now you guys are becoming a vibrational match. And it's just coming full circle is what I feel. I feel like during this absence, this period of time when there was no communication or you guys were not together, you guys may have been with other people, but there was tremendous releasing and healing and letting go during this time period is what I feel. And now it's finally time. Okay, this first card here is embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Jeez. That's fucking deep. And then here we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. This is about if you're in a shitty circumstance right now, imagine it being better. Manifest what exactly what it is you want. Remember now, law of attraction states that we create our own reality by what we think, what we feel. So, you know, put your intentions out there, but you got to do the work too. You can't just sit on the couch and say, I want this and you don't put forth any effort. It doesn't work like that. But I do want to get back to the fact that I feel this is definitely a reconnection with someone that's coming back from the past. Something here where someone in the past was refusing it. It, it just, you guys were not a vibrational match at all. Um, during this break, there's been tremendous healing and releasing and letting go. And now with this new beginnings coming in, geez, this is beautiful. It's a second chance. Um, it's a second, it's your second chance at forever with this person is what I feel. <laughs> wow. Second chances, honey. Here you guys go. Anyways, beautiful Gemini's, this is your reading. Again, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, please click on the information below. And if you want to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, it's under Saltwater Heels Tarot. I send you guys lots and lots of love and light and lots of blessings. Love you.